Hey folks, welcome back. This is lesson 10, the last lesson of how to build your nonprofit website in one day. All right, so this is a pretty quick lesson. We're just gonna do some tweaks and we're gonna fine tune some areas and you're gonna learn a little bit more about how to maintain your site so that in the future you can add and build and make this site even bigger and better. All right, let's go ahead and get started. All right, welcome back folks. This is the last lesson. So we're gonna be doing some tweaks to the site just to put the finishing touches to your nonprofit website. So um, one of the first things we're gonna do is we're, I want you to go to your website and I want you to go to that donate page. There are a couple things that uh, I'm just not happy about with this page. That is, is um, one, the site title is called donations. I prefer it to be donate. and as well as the URL, the actual web address says the nonprofitwebsite.com forward slash donations. I'd like to change that to donate also. So that's going to be one of the first things that we um, tweak here. And then back on the front page, you'll probably noticed already that the donate page doesn't work. That's my fault when we set this up. I didn't put the right URL in there and we're going to fix that as well. So let's go ahead and get started. Let's log into the back end of our website. And the donation page, which you're going to be changing, is, of course, in Pages. So when you go to Pages, you're going to select Donations. Now, changing the title and the URL are pretty simple. Basically, you go up here to the title and no longer say Donations. I've deleted that, and it now says Donate. And the actual URL is what is called the permalink. So here it says the nonprofitwebsite.com Donations. We're going to click in there and we're going to change donations to donate and just click OK. So I've updated the page title and the page URL. And so all I have to do is update. I'm going to go over here and update. And let's go back to the front end of the website. Now if we go to the donate page, I'm going to have to refresh this page because I've changed what this link is. So let me refresh the page really quick. WordPress is a database, so when you update something, you have to refresh your page um, every time. So now the donation link is going to go to the new donate page. You can see right here now it says donate instead of donations, and the URL says donate instead of donations. So good. We've accomplished that. Now let's go back to the home page. Now you notice here that this donate button isn't working. If you click on it, you're going to get a... Um, an error page because the donate page just, uh, that was my fault. So we're gonna fix that. We created the links to this button when we first created the site. Now to relink it, we need the correct link. So go to your donate page and we're gonna copy the link. I'm gonna just do a control C. And now that we have that link, let's go update that button. So back in the back end, we are, I'm done with the edit page area. We're gonna go to appearance, themes, customize because that is where we first started making our web page. We are customizing the theme. Okay, so here we are and this top section where the Urban Arts Council header is, there's the mission, there's the donate. It is this donate button that we're going to be fixing. And that is located in the big title section. So go ahead on the left hand side here, click the big title section and you'll see right here you, it says a uh, green button link and that's the green button and the link um, it came out wrong. So we're just going to paste in a new link and that's the link we just copied and we're going to save and publish. And then we're going to use the back button to go back to the main theme customization options. Now, if we scroll down our page, we're gonna realize that we also put a donate button right here. So, and this is the um, ribbon section. So we're gonna go down on the left-hand side to the ribbon section, and we are also going to update that link. This was called the bottom button. Let's click on there. And Again, the button links at the bottom. You can see that link is incorrect. I'm going to paste in the new one, save and 
publish. And then we'll give it a test. We're going to go back to the donation page, back to the home page. And now this donate button is going to lead to the donate page. If I go home again, I can scroll down and test the new button that, um, right here. This donate button will also lead to the donate page. Great. Let's go on back to the home page. Now, one last tweak for you. Your site is basically done now. You have your home page, which is your big, long main front page, which is called a one pager. You have your latest news, and we have a donate page. If you wanted to add links within this main page, for example, the mission button here, when I click on this, this page scrolls to the mission section. Right, these are internal links. It's what uh, what's called like a name tag is on there. That's what it's called in HTML. So we can make that happen um, up in the main menu. I'm going to show you how to do that for the contact page. So let's go ahead. Our last thing we're going to do is we're going to add a contact link down at the. We're going to add it to the end of our main menu. So let's go back to our back end. We're going to close out our customization area for the theme. We're going to go to Appearance, Menus. So we're going to add what is called a custom link. Now that custom link, um, if you just click on it here, the custom link is going to be the address to our website. So I'm going to go and steal that from the front page. Here it is. The main. Make sure you're on your home page when you copy this. Copy that. Take it in there and paste it into the URL of your custom link. And now, at the end of the forward slash, we are going to add a hashtag or a number sign. And we are going to type in the word contact. That's an internal link to the contact section that is at the bottom of our front page. Now the text we want to appear on this link is simply going to be contact. Oh, uh, we'll put contact us. And we're going to add this to our menu. So there it is. It's at the bottom. I can click on there and I can see that it's a custom link and it goes to uh, our main website, hashtag contact. I'm going to save this menu. We are going to refresh our front page so that the menu shows up. And there you can see at the top right is the contact link. Now, if I click on that, it's going to scroll down to the bottom of the page where the contact section is. Pretty cool, huh? So if you want uh, the information on how to create links to different sections, because you can create a link to the What We Do section. We, you can create a link to the Our Mission section. You can create a link to the Board section. All these sections you can create links to, just like we did with the Contact one. I'm going to give you the URL to that right now. So just go to this link here. And again, it's in the notes of this lesson. And that is the documentation for the theme that we just used to create our nonprofit website. So all the information you need to customize this theme is at this web address. And again, that is in the notes to this lesson. So you can go there if you need to make more menu items, if you need to adjust the widgets, or if you just forget how to customize some of the sections on the page, you can either review the lessons that we just went over or you can go to the documentation page um, of this, this theme, the Xerif theme. Okay, folks, give yourself a big round of applause. You have a nonprofit website that has a donation page and a latest news section and a contact area where people can contact you. You look professional. Good work, folks. So if you followed all these lessons and created a nonprofit website for your organization, please share it with us. Put a link to your website in the comments below this video. We would love to see it. Share it with everybody and show off your work. Thanks so much, folks. It's been really great doing these lessons with you. 
It, it would be great if you could leave some feedback in the comments section of all these lessons. Um, I hope you've got something out of it. It's really been fun teaching it. You take care, and uh, we'll talk to you soon.